for more local stories. Okay, we're going to talk your home for a minute. Your home today as you're looking at it. Your home with the holidays coming up and your home here in Chattanooga and the pride you have in our local businesses. How's that for an intro for Michael Turner, who is the owner of Huck and Peck. Uh, always happy to be helping your home look better. And he's asking for your encouragement today because he's in the running for best of the best. So we'll kind of hit it all. Please, we have two days left of voting. So if you get a chance, get on uh, the Times Free Press and vote. We'd love to, we appreciate it, we're thankful. You know, I remember when you opened, how many years ago has it been? It's our eighth year. Okay, there was such a buzz when you opened. People were so excited, as were you. Very, very much so. I bet you had no idea then what you would be weathering in terms of the COVID storm and all of that. And somewhat enjoying, I mean, COVID was a great time. It was a difficult time, but that's what you prepare for. And I mean, I think, you know, you build a ship to sail. Yeah. You don't build a ship to sit in the port. Well, you so. built your ship well, because if you've never been to Huck and Peck, they're down off of Broad Street, um, right? Yep, South side, Street. heading mm -hmm. towards Lookout. Um, and you go in and you immediately know that you're in quality. Thank you. Really, you do. You. I know, I never can remember all the lines. Norwalk, I know. We have 196 lines now. What? Yeah. We've opened with 196 companies. So if we don't have it on our floor, we have 17,000 square feet of showroom. If we can't, if you can't find it as you're walking around, ask. If you have a picture, a Pinterest, a catalog page, if you can show me anything that describes what you're looking for, we will hunt it down for you. Wow. We have uh, over 4,900 mirrors, a half a million rug options, 14,000 uh, picture options. Yeah, lots of art. art. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course we have Norwalk and um, Gabby and Roe and a bunch of different companies that we make upholstery with that mm -hmm. we could take those items and make your own bespoke sofa in six weeks now. And you know that, I was going to say that, it, was it 17,000 square feet you 17, said? 17,000 square feet. So that played to your advantage because it is huge and sure. so in the COVID days when you couldn't get custom pieces in quickly, people could buy off the floor. And, and we still sell off the floor. But to be able to now do your wonderful custom work in just five We're to so six happy. weeks delivery time, that's great. We had two swivel chairs come in the other day, I ordered them four weeks ago. And that wow. was with the shipping time to get them to us. So uh, making your own is back. <laughs> so when it, when it comes to like a first time shopper with mm -hmm. you, Michael, do, they, do you encourage them to come in maybe with dimensions of their room or pictures of their space? Yeah, I mean, I think measuring twice and cutting once is always important. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have something colorful in that room already, bring a picture of it, or if you have a sample of that fabric, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're matching something to something, if something has to go into a new area, um, every room has a focal point. Right. You know, so if you've already got your focal point, you need to bring something that shows us what that is so that we can help you. I think, you know, we have a lot of people that walk in and they say, I'm looking for a sofa. Okay, that's, that's the beginning. <laughs> you know, we're ready to start. Three cushions uh, we, or two. We've got 45 of them on the floor to show you, and then we've got 4,000 that we could make right. uh, in 3,200 fabrics. Right. So um, obviously we can make your own bespoke, unique sofa, uh, chair, uh, upholstered bed, ottoman, you know, in six weeks. You know, I think you and I have had this conversation before that of all the furniture you will ever buy, um, for living spaces, not so much bedroom furniture, but for living spaces, your sofa might be the focal point, the one place to put your money to start. Absolutely. I think every, everyone spends time on the sofa. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're only home for a certain number of hours a day um, as a family. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you're sitting together, you know, around whatever hearth you use, uh, you know, that's the uh, important place. And you want to be as comfortable as possible. You want it to hold up. Mm -hmm. um, some people allow food in the living room. Some people don't. Um, so you have oh, to... those who don't, they just say that. <laughs> some people let the dog on the sofa and some people don't. <laughs> right. So right. you want to make sure you're picking the right type of fabric or leather or what, whatever it is that you need for your home. But right. you know, we, have, uh, we have products for everyone. We have Flex Steel. And uh, you know, so we have a, uh, actual items that recline. Um, so we have motion. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to know what the customer is looking for, and that takes communication. And so we like to give people an opportunity to walk through the store for a few minutes. We offer a, a Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite, water, whatever right. you want to drink when you come in. Uh, we don't want anybody getting parched while they're looking. And then we come back and we say, okay, well, how can we help you find your perfect need? And, right. 
um, I think that works really well. Um, you also have done a great job with the types of furniture that you have in there, spa um, dimension wise. Because uh, I know we did an interview once, we were there, and we were talking about if you have kind of a smaller space, sure. you could still set it up to look full, but the pieces themselves were slimmer, but very comfortable. Well, leave it to me to try to do something that's not easy. <laughs> you know, it's easier to be niche. You yeah. know, if you go to the only the high end or only to the low end, then you have just this small part that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. but if you go to the middle, which is trying to find something for everyone, mm -hmm. it's a little bit harder, but we've done it. Right. And so, you know, if you're looking for a uh, inexpensive sofa or your first time sofa in an apartment or mm -hmm. you know, something that's going to be a little bit smaller in scale, we have that. Mm -hmm. We have had so many apartments open up on the south side. We have right. a new one that we're going to be at today. Uh, during their grand opening, giving away some gift certificates and some different things. Borough 33. And brag is, on that because it's a large gift certificate you're giving mm -hmm. away. I have a minute left. Yeah, it's 25% uh, off your first item. Wow. So if you can get over there and get one of those gift certificates, it's important. And then there was something with 2023. Yeah, so we're doing our 2023 um, uh, Get In to Win. And you can get in on social media, on Facebook or uh, Instagram, or you can come into the store and get in to win. But it's a $2,023 gift certificate to Huck and Peck that will be given away on July 31st. So go see why they want your vote for best of the best. You have two days left. Two days left for best of the best voting. We appreciate your vote in advance, and we really need it. Uh, so HuckandPeck.com is the website. Go visit them there on the south side, Broad Street. They are open on Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, make your home your castle. That's what it ought to be. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Good luck. Appreciate it. In our area, minimum wage remains at $7.25 an hour, a struggle for the thousands trying to live on that. But some say a change to the minimum wage law may not actually be necessary. The reasons why, tomorrow at 4 on Local 3 News. My name is 